Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. I'm Rob J. Speck Nakamura, at J. Speck the host. What do we got going on today? Well, just like the title points to, we're doing an interview with UFC's Felipe Linz. Um... Had the privilege of interviewing him a couple of times. He's been a guest on my fight watch, uh, fight watch longs, fight watch companion, whatever the words he used for that, watch parties, so many words. Anyways, I have to, uh, you know, take this moment before we go any further to also say download the All Star Sports app, fully customizable, no ads, whatever sport you watch, but. We're talking about fighting. You can just get only fight news if you want. No ads, no nothing. So download that in your Play Store, available everywhere. Um, Now, the man we're about to talk to, Mr. Felipe Linz, has entered the room. Felipe, shoot that mic request when you're ready. That purple icon in the bottom left corner looks like a little microphone. If you guys have not been following what's going on with Mr. Linz, that's your fault. Because you should be. Um, he is a he is a reformed heavyweight. Can I use those words? He's a reformed heavyweight now, shredded, meaner in the light heavyweight division. He already took his challenges in the heavyweight division, becoming the PFL heavyweight champion. Uh, so, you know, he's been there, done that, switched over to the UFC, became... Now, one of my favorite fighters to watch, somebody I, I like talking to and a good human being, Mr. Felipe Linz. Are you here? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, brother. What's up, Robbie? What's up, What's my up man? You, brother? What's up, my man? How you doing? Good, brother. Good. My, my father uh, was just visiting in town, so I got some time with my family, and I know family is important to you, so that's why I share it with you. And uh man, I get to talk with you, my man. Today's today's great. How about yourself? Yeah. I'm good. I'm doing great. Enjoy Ex- still always enjoy my family, enjoy my days, living the best moment of my life. <laughs> Hell yeah, my man. I wanna thank the people listening to this live. This is recorded for later. This will be put on the All Star uh sports YouTube channel later on, and of course I'll be sharing this throughout uh, the next couple weeks as we lead into the big fight, Mr. Lin's big fight against uh, Ion Kutelaba that will be on October the 7th. It'll be a UFC fight night, and that'll be coming up uh, real quick. You know, time goes by real fast, so we'll talk about the fight and all that kind of stuff in a, in a second. I want to tell everybody to follow Mr. Felipe Lin's, not just here on Twitter, but all social media. He's really big on Instagram. Go check him out. He puts all kinds of awesome videos, pictures. He's over there in Florida with ATT training with the best in the world. So you want to see him getting down with some of the best you know of, best on the planet. He's there doing it. So go ahead and uh, you know follow him uh, on all social media for, uh, platforms at Felipe Lins. And, of course, you're going to know it's him because, you know, how many guys are built like that with that kind of hair? And also have MMA skills. None. That's who. That only Mr. Linz. So, Mr. Linz, um, <laughs> hey, I gotta ask I you some. Appreciate it, my friend. I appreciate it. Of course, you know, you know, I'm a big fan, bro. So I'm gonna push it. Now, um, I want to ask you before we talk about your fight and the things coming your way. I want to ask you something, you know, a little bit from the past, but it's happening now. The PFL buying uh, Bellator. Do you have any? Thoughts or comments about that? Um, I think uh, I hear this in the Twitter. I saw on Twitter too, and this is a this is gonna this is really is gonna happen. You you think? Oh yeah. So from what I from what I've uh, heard and from some people who you know are still connected with Bellator, it's like the money was offered. It's on the table. Like it's pretty. It, it's it's pretty close to being done. I would say like, I would say like eighty five percent for sure. Yeah, it's, it's gonna it's gonna be amazing for the PFL. 
gonna be amazing for the PFL, for the fans, for the fans of for MMA fans, for everybody. Gotcha. It's be great. Now, of course, he's former heavyweight champion over there, a uh, late heavyweight now. Um, now, I just got a question. Of course, like with the merge and all that, and of course, you're in the UFC winning, doing your thing here. Would there ever be a scenario where you would consider fighting for the PFL again? Uh, no, bro. I, I love what I'm doing in UFC. I want to retire me. The there you go. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that. So you got yourself three wins in a row. You're on a nice three fight win streak. You're going against Ian Kutalaba. Um now, obviously, big challenge. He's fought some pretty big names in the UFC. He's had mixed results. You you are on a on a streak right now. Is anything you uh Anything you can say about yourself or something you see in your opponent in this matchup coming your way? Yeah, first about my opponent. He's an experienced guy. Yes, I'm going to fight against, against a hook from Aldova. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, but I'm ready. In the, when I sign the contract, I'm looking for his fights in the beginning. Right now, um, I'm just looking to myself to do... Exactly what uh, our plan for this fight, and every every day, every week, I'm feeling ready for this matchup. Uh, this fight have uh, two ingredients: gasoline and fire. And Ooh. everybody knows what I have. <laughs> hey man, and you got plenty of both. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now, Kutilaba. Uh, he he was on a streak. He rebounded. He got a win over Tanner Bozer. But in all fairness, Tanner Bozer, that was his first fight in the light heavyweight division. Now, as as someone like yourself who's already who's transferred from heavyweight to light heavyweight, is there is that hard to do? Um, you know, it, I guess what I'm saying is, can we take that win? that uh, Qt Laba had over Tanner Bozer. Can we take that win seriously because of how hard uh, cutting the weight is? No, this is, uh, this is Qt Laba doing a great fight against Tanner Bozer. Tanner Bozer is a very tough opponent and was a great win against Tanner Bozer. And for Tanner Bozer, I don't know if he his, his, how he's feeling after cut weight and recover. For for me to doubt to, to I have to wait again was easy because I'm all my fights before the PFL I'm fighting I have to wait right so for me it was easy and it was a good great great victory for Kutalaba so I guess fair enough I respect that and uh, yeah we're definitely looking forward to this because hey man you're on a big nice big streak you go ahead and get this win like I know you can. You're gonna be in that octagon with the microphone in your face. You got? Are you, you got anybody? You, and the, you don't have to say any names, but you, you got a speech prepared when you get that moment. You got somebody to say? Yeah, I, 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 I'm just uh, two. Uh, the, the fight against uh, Sean Pro. I'm, I'm sad that I want to fight against one top opponent, one ranked guy. And they don't give me the the top ranked guy. They they give me Max Ingrishin. But this fight, that fight makes sense because I'm supposed to fight with him the last year. And now they give me a Ion Kutalaba. He's a big name because he's already top ten ranked before. Right. So, For, yes, sir. And one good victory against him is gonna be make me at the place to. To one more big challenger, one ranked guy, of course. This is what I want and what I'm going to say there when I make you stay with me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I get it. That, that, that's perfect because you're right. Eon was a former ranked guy. He, he slipped a little bit. He's where he's right in front of you right now. You, you, you know, you take him out. I mean, it, it's pretty much impossible to deny you a ranked opponent next time. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, so sure. I, I, I love hundred percent. 
you know what, Mr. Linz, I, this is why people besides me, this is why fans like you, man, because you go out and you you just you're you're nice, you're awesome, but when you're in the cage, you're the monstro, you know, and you you show your work in the cage, you know, you never you never talk bad. You just go in there and you do work, man, and I we really appreciate you for that. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a I'm a guy just like talk with my hands. Yes, sir. Talk <laughs> with my fight. Uh outside of the octagon I'm I'm a nice guy. But inside the octagon, I'm releasing the monster and always try to finish my fights. Always try to knock out my opponents, to submit my opponents, and and make a show for every for everybody. Yes, sir. You and you do, and we appreciate that. Now, look, bringing it back to the fight, do you have uh, a prediction on how you might win? Um, uh, I, I always, always, I said that. Um. I'm always looking for finish my opponents. Yes, sir. Always, always looking to to knock at my opponents, to submit my opponents, to make a a great fight for the fans. And this fight not going to be different. And like I said, this fight has two ingredients: gasoline and fire. And October seven, that octagon is going to be in the fireworks and fire for sure. And my prediction is I gonna with a blessed of God Of course I gonna I gonna get my four win streak. Hell yeah. Add a add a bonus. Let's give it to him. All right. Yeah, give the win. Give, <laughs> let's give him give the man a bonus. All right. Yeah, for sure. Uh do you have um you have any training partners or any people that you want to say thank you to that have been helping you in this camp? Yeah, at this camp, uh, I'm training with a lot with Thiago Marreta. Yes, sir. And Saeed Awad. Oh, that's and what's up. You guys help me a lot because I think they are the same size, same size of Kutalaba. Seems like uh, the same style. Uh, coming to fight. You know, and uh, Maheta and Said, they they are help me a lot for this at this camp. Well, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you for sharing that information. And those guys, well, shit, everybody knows those guys. Those guys know know how to fight. So I think you made a good choice. And uh, do you have anything else you want to share with the people before we uh, close up, sir? I'm good. Just. Uh, Make sure you guys watch my fight. And like I said, October 7th, that that octagon is going to be in fire. Yes. And with that being said, I'm going to spill a little bit of beans. I got to, obviously, was talking with Felipe previous. And uh, I'm going to meet up with him because he's, he's going to be fighting in Las Vegas in the Apex, obviously, for this fight, October the 7th against uh, Ian Kuntilaba. And, well, he's coming into my city. So I'm going to do my best to meet up with Mr. Lynn. He's already agreed to sign some gloves so I can give away to you fans uh, who support him and, you know, keep the love going. So thank you, Mr. Lynn, for your time and your knowledge. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you for your, too, for your time and appreciate it. And let's make this, let, let's make this happen in, in Vegas to sign the gloves, to... I'm going to bring something to with my name to, to sign to, to put it together. Hell yes. I know. You know what's going to happen, sir. You know we're going to do the watch party like we do for every UFC event. And you know all the fans are going to be – we're going to be all cheering. We're going to be picking you. We'll be there uh, in spirit as best we can. So thank you for your time, sir. You have a blessed rest of your camp. S see you soon in Vegas, my man. Okay, Robbie. See you soon, my friend. I appreciate it. Take care, sir. Bye, Felipe.